Hi, Aquarius. Oh, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. <laughs> wow. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll just always get an email notification, super easy whenever my availability opens up, all that good stuff. You guys can also follow me over on Instagram. Um, link is also down below. I just post more things on quantum physics, crazy freaking things that I play around with over there. So. If you want to jump over, feel free, of course. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the freaking ways you've supported the channel. And let's dive in. Okay. Um, this feels more like you're getting more in tune. You might be noticing that you're inner voice is getting louder about something Aquarius it probably will be at a place that you can't ignore it <laughs> it'll be so like freaking Aquarius you know like dude listen to me it'll be one of those kind of situations okay look at that and blah, 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 blah. sometimes I'm like don't always know what to do in these situations probably taking out of that what are you? Oh, those are not turned over. I'm not going to take them. <laughs> okay. They didn't flip, so I'm not going to take them. But you are progressing. All right. All right. Um, this also could be a mindset thing that's playing out here. You literally have two kind of like traveling cards. Hey, hello. <laughs> there you are. Okay, perfect. We will kind of get into those a little bit, but I'm going to dive into this just so we get a moving. Okay, Aquarius. So, yeah, these first two cards, some of you guys, there could be travels coming up this week. I'm not telling you to do it. If you've already, if your inner voice is saying this, I would say that Aquarius, like, when it's time to move on situations, it's time to go. No questions asked. Especially if you know authentically that it's coming from this space. Like, screw the reading. This is the main part, okay? What is your inner voice saying? Because there could be some movement, definitely, that's coming in. Whatever that looks like. You might be going to a situation temporarily, but your inner voice is like time time um so pay attention to that if it's coming up for you guys it might even just be a small movement do you know what i mean it doesn't have to be like oh you're going out of the state or going out of country it's just like if your inner voice is telling you to like get in your car and go and do this you freaking go and do that okay um because I feel as though if there's some slow moving energy going on for you, five of pentacles with the knight of pentacles, it, it could be because like there's still this portion of your life that was tied to some kind of abandonment issues or rejection issues. Like if you were scapegoated or even if there were issues around money or health, feels like to me you're still really working through that process <laughs> okay and it's like that i wonder if this movement that could be coming in is that you will be going to a location or a situation and it's kind of freaking vastly different because you have the ten of cups which is like one of the happiest cards in the deck and there's that chariot which is also travel movement and then you boom in your element it just this might be an old thing that gets kind of reactivated where you just feel kind of like maybe some rejection okay 
But you'll be back. You'll be back in your own energy. No worries. Okay. You'll be back at it. Oh. I feel also, I'm going to tell you this too, because I feel like you're overthinking some kind of monetary situation. Because we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of like distorting something or overcomplicating something. Like you could even be gaslighting yourself a little bit about what you're meant to do. So this is about getting control over your mind. All right. There you are working on that. Let's dive in. Okay. We got some stuff to unpack. So let's get into it. All right. Oh, son of a... Yeah, still dealing with like some kind of regret yeah look at you and all these queen of swords king of swords feels like you're detaching significantly from an energy that's one tower okay there's the eclipse energy are you wanting to too okay communications coming in Okay, here we go. <sighs> All right, this feels like something that already ended because we have whatever you did here, you might still be kind of like dealing with the emotional part of this. Whatever freaking just happened, maybe over just this year, it feels like emotionally you're still like letting go of some things, okay? This feels like some kind of betrayal. And then we've got... Okay, these are the outcome. Give me a second. Oh, that was the one that came out first. It was the Three of Wands. Okay. That's my Law of Attraction card. And so that's why I always say, like, whatever vibration you're at, you want to really take a look at what's coming in. Because your ships are coming in, but I feel like you see it significantly when you're in, a sp in your own energy, which is all about renewal and hope. When you like hit a very positive frequency, it starts pulling things in, which is very exciting because it might make you feel very like progressional or it gives you motivation to do something. Man, okay, let's see. Because that's the part of the Seven of Pentacles I was seeing because it's like, um, it's making you like motivated or you're putting a lot of effort into it. Because I feel like a path is lighting up for you, Aquarius. I, We always get the star card in your readings. I mean, it's appropriate and it's totally fine. I love it. But it feels like, to me, every time some kind of sign comes in from your outward reality, you start taking action and you actually make some progress and growth. It's progressional. You're, you're coming out of that Five of Pentacles energy, but something could have distorted this all right okay so there's communications that are coming up ahead i'm gonna put this okay you gotta just bear with this craziness okay there's communications that are going to be happening because we have this knight of swords and the queen of swords and this king of swords there's just a lot and it feels like it is three energies um, oh, fascinating that it's with the Three of Wands. You have like an entanglement here going on with like a few peeps. And it's kind of detached. You might also at times feel just like this surge of energy where you feel impatient because you want to like get some forward movement and progress. And that's not exactly how this is going to work, Aquarius. <laughs> like, the universe is kind of putting you in one of those situations where it's like, you will feel very heavily the energy of not needing a situation to change for you to heal. You're being asked to kind of alchemize in your energy, okay? In your situation. And even though something feels slow and it takes time for you to maybe get feedback or get communication. It's like, when it happens, it's just like you need to keep your cool and not like be impatient. But I'm seeing like a lot of, there's three energies here that you're communicating with. One is like 
sitting on something, you know. I'm almost seeing that as this king of swords, which could be a female or male. This is a highly educated person. There's also another person over here that's like, it's like keeping something at bay. And you're like trying not to feed someone's ego. Why? And it's like a lot of juggling I'm getting here. You've got like these couple situations that are going on. Okay. So... This feels good, believe it or not. So you've got the tower that's down here. I feel like you sense something coming. <laughs> and you've got the Wheel of Fortune. And it's this pivotal moment right here, okay? Because this tower moment, it could be like an emotional tower. You kind of feel like this impending moment. Maybe it's like with particular energies that you've got to hold your boundaries with. And it feels almost like that their energy is building like their emotions or their sensitivities is building up to a boiling point and you are having to detach more than ever like just be very in charge of your mind and what you look at and just like your self-control and discipline is the name of the game in this it will like help you leaps and bounds because you've got energies here that are it's like the more you're in tune with yourself and you quiet out everything else, the louder your inner voice is coming up in these situations to tell you the moves to make, the the ways that you can make spiritual growth. And it might not feel like you want to do it 100%. Because <laughs> it feels quite a bit like you have to make quite a sacrifice on one end where you have to like really detach from something in your life, not even necessarily someone Aquarius. It could be a habit, it could be a food you're eating, whatever it is, it's going to progress you. And I just feel like this little bit of hesitance only because like you might be afraid of your own potential and power, to be honest, but in that, in that frame of energy, in that frequency, you will be untouchable and unfuckwithable. <laughs> okay, so yes, there is a change that's gonna come in right there. And then you've got this Six of Swords. Okay, because so I can see <laughs> you wanna get out of the situation, you want movement. And I think it will come, Aquarius, the more that you get to that frequency in the back, the Ten of Cups, which is like your process right now is getting there, <laughs> okay? It's like, and it might be specific things that you're doing to get to that frequency, like gratitude, but that's the name of the game in this. It creates movement. You're not really working with anything but frequency. And it's like, for you to make a smooth transition and for everything to just fall into alignment perfectly, it's like all reflecting you. <laughs> and isn't that fun? So it's so crazy. Pisces got the same thing as the outcome. I know sometimes you guys get pissed when I bring up Pisces all the time. Sorry, you guys are on the cups. So you actually like share quite a bit. So don't hate me. But, yeah, you, um, this could be something here, Aquarius, about moving into some kind of stability is going to give you the upper hand. That King of Pentacles is kind of like an opportunity that's waiting for you, that's going to provide you stability, and you're moving up in archetypes. That's pretty much where you're at. So you might be, oh, wow, I didn't realize that. Wow, Aquarius, also, um, because I'm weird and you guys <laughs> deal with me in that, um, pay attention to your spirit animals. It's all quantum physics, okay? So don't even get me started. But you might be, I've been talking about this recently, you might actually be switching spirit guides, like spirit animals. And it's also connected to the specific chemicals that you put into your body. 
So you might actually be seeing an interesting shift take place there. Okay, like a good one, but pay attention to those specific things because they're very key on your path. So sometimes like a spirit animal, sometimes I, when I see a lot of like dead animals, a specific one, I kind of know that that energy is not activated within me based off of certain things that I'm playing around with. And that's always when I know there's an opportunity to shift into a different spirit animal. So pay attention. Like if you guys go spend time in nature or something, pay attention to what you're seeing. Okay, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever in the hell else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link. I'll see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.